much. It's now time for another open debate. Candidates, you'll have three minutes in total to discuss the following. In 2001, Portugal legalized all drugs in an effort to deal with an overdose crisis. And some have advocated that Canada take the same approach, particularly in light of the upcoming legalization of marijuana. What's your view on this proposal? And because it's difficult during the open debate for Nikki to jump in via satellite, we'll let her kick it off. Well, thank you for this important question. First of all, I do think that we should be looking at the Portuguese model when it comes to uh, dealing with addictions and, and obviously uh, working with people that, uh, that are struggling. Uh, we, we also need to be moving straight ahead towards full support for harm reduction measures here in our own country. It's clear to me that Stephen Harper and his government pulled us so far to the right. Uh, we lost a lot of ground over these last few years. And I want to acknowledge Libby Davies and so many on the ground in Vancouver who fought for insight, who are fighting constantly across this country for harm reduction programs. We need federal investment so that cities, communities, First Nations can establish harm reduction programs across our country and so that we don't stigmatize addiction, that instead we are working with people to build healthier and it's safer It's an open communities. debate, so we'll let... Yep. I, 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 I worked in the criminal justice system for a number of years, and I can tell you that people that are charged with personal possession offenses are often those who are poor, who are often those who have mental uh, health issues, and often those who are addicted. That does not sound to me like a criminal justice problem. That sounds to me like a social justice problem and a health care problem. I would call for the immediate decriminalization of all personal possession offenses when it comes to drugs, period. It's not acceptable in our country. It's something that doesn't actually help our country. And what it does is it criminalizes those that are already so worse off in society. It puts people who are already marginalized into a worse position. It doesn't well, help our society. And what we need to do immediately is to decriminalize and work towards harm reduction, supports, what, and rehabilitation. What we need to be looking at, I worked with the homeless in Toronto in the 80s. Uh, and I got to say, I had such a deep gut hatred of addictions and what it did to people. But I've seen what fentanyl is doing. And we are being brought into completely uncharted territory. And they're not just dying in downtown Vancouver. They're dying in Surrey. They're dying in Kitsilano. I've been to funerals in my riding. And we need a new strategy. It's not just about having safe sites. We have to find a way to have access. I don't know if it's decriminalization or some kind of program to work with the addicts who are suffering, who can have safe access to drugs while putting the investments into uh, other methods to get people off. Charlie, the question addictions. is the Portugal think, model. Wait, wait, You're not actually answering the question. The question is, do you support the continued prosecution of people just because they have mental health issues? Do you support the continued prosecution of people because they're poor? Do you support uh, the continued prosecution of people no. who are addicted? No. Then let's call for a move to decriminalize I will turn it over to. Uh, yeah, I will turn I, it over to Guy. I, we can I, talk later. I think as an economist, <laughs> As an economist, I can tell you that repression is the worst of policies. I mean, no one can tell me that repression worked. And it didn't work because addiction cannot be treated as a crime. It has to be treated as a disease. It has to be treated as an illness. This is why the idea of, of uh, decriminalizing is a good idea to be studied and to ensure also per, uh, in a parallel fashion that we can put resources, the needed resources, in harm reduction because harm reduction is not only helping to treat that disease, but it's also helping to find resources that we need. Thank you very much.